Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how you can get shaders on Roblox. So your game will look like from this to this. Also, Roblox recently updated their anti-cheat system, which is blocking the shaders. But in this video, I'll show you how to get them back. All right, so let's get started. One thing worth mentioning is if you don't have an Nvidia graphics card, then you won't be able to use these shaders. So if you have an Intel, I'm sorry, get a better one. All right, so now with that out of the way, there's going to be three links in the description below. They're all GitHub links and they're all safe. I've tried them all out myself. I've tested them and I haven't gotten a virus yet. So let's just hop right into the video. First, we're going to have this GitHub link right here. So downloading it is pretty simple. You want to scroll down and choose the options for assets and you want to look for NVIDIA Profile Inspector .zip code and click on it. Now, it should start downloading. Once it's downloaded, you want to go ahead, open up the directory where you're having the file and extract it. Next, open up the folder and run NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Now in this, you're going to scroll down all the way to Other. And once you're in Other, you want to go ahead and look for Ansel Flags for Enabled Applications. Once you find that, it'll be disallowed since that's what it is normally on. Then you want to go ahead and click on it right here. You want to go ahead and click on allowed and once you do that, you can click apply changes in the top right corner of the screen. Now you can go ahead and close out of that. Now, after you do that, we're going to move on to the second GitHub link, which is right here. And on this page to download it, you can look for the code option in the top right corner of the screen. After you find it, go ahead, click on it, and it'll show these options right here. Ignore all of them, except for this download zip link right here. Once you find it, just click on it, and it will start downloading. Now you do the same thing as last time. Right click on it, and then you want to extract all. Once you do that, access the folder, and it's going to open up right here. Once you're in here, there's going to be a shader file right here. It has all these commands or whatever. So we don't have to do anything with it just yet, but the second step is done. Now onto the third GitHub link right here. We're going to do the same thing as last time. Click on the code button right here. Go ahead and click download zip. Once downloaded, you are going to extract it like the previous ones and then delete the zip files. So what you want to do is, there should be a file called shaders and textures. Go ahead and open that and it'll show all these options. You want to press Ctrl plus A. And that will select all of the files in here. Once you do that, you want to press Ctrl plus C, which will copy all the folders. Now, you want to go over to the Quint master file and go ahead and click on shaders. Here, you want to press Ctrl plus V. And once you do that, it'll ask, this destination already has a file named quintcommon.fxh. Just go ahead and click replace the file in the destination and that will automatically paste everything in here. Now you have all the files that you need. So once you've done that what you want to do next, I'll paste it in the description below. But you want to go to the search menu and type in c colon backslash program files backslash nvidia corporation. Once you search for that, there should be a folder by that name. So go ahead and open it and you're going to go ahead and look for Ansel. But if you don't have it, that just means you've never used shaders on your computer. So you're just going to go ahead and create a new folder. For that, you want to right click anywhere on the folder page. And then you want to look for new. When you find new, there should be an option for folder. So go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, it'll ask you to name it. So name it Ansel. And once you do that, you can click off of it. Now once you do that, you want to go over to the Quint Master folder then press Ctrl plus A and Ctrl plus C once again. Now head back over to the NVIDIA Corporation folder and you just need to press Ctrl plus V. After you do that, you will have your answer folder completed. Okay, so now you can close out of both of these folders. Now you want to go to the search bar in the bottom of the screen and search for Roblox player. Once you search for Roblox, you're going to want to go ahead and open file location. It's going to open this page right here. You want to right click on it again and then select the file location again. Once you're here, I don't know why, 
but you want to rename Roblox Player Beta as Euro Trucks 2. Now you can just go ahead and click off of it and you're completely done. After that, you can go ahead and open Roblox, but you have to open it through the Euro Trucks 2 application. So you can create a private server if you want to make it easier, but just join some random game. I'll join Metro Life City Role Play. So once you're inside the game, you're going to go ahead and press Alt plus F3. Once you click that, this game filter should show up on the side. So if it didn't show up, just wait a bit. I'll show you guys what to do. But if it did show up, you're going to want to go ahead and click on one out of these four options right here. Now you can just add whatever filters you want. You can add bloom and then adjust its settings the way you want. You could also add brightness and contrast and then you can go ahead and edit them however you want like this. So yeah, just go through and just find the ones you like and ones you don't like. Now if it didn't work, there's a couple of reasons that might not have worked. But here's one solution that you could try. Try pressing Alt C and this should show up. Then you can click game filter right here and then that will bring up the game filter. However, if that didn't work and you get a thing that says a game supported game is required to use this feature, then you want to make sure that you have GeForce Experience downloaded. You can also search for GeForce Experience and it should just automatically show up because it should be installed on your computer already. And if it isn't, you're just going to download it. After that, you can go ahead and try restarting your computer. Sometimes it'll start bugging even after you just used it and you may start seeing a game not supported error. So you're gonna have to close out of Roblox and then go ahead and reopen it again and try closing out of GeForce Experience and open it again. But it's really buggy, so you just keep that in mind as you go ahead and go through all the steps. You guys can also try going out of full screen and then going back to resume. It might work sometimes, it may not. So you can just go ahead and test it out and see if it did or not. And if those two options don't work, you could try deleting Roblox and re-downloading it. And then you can also go to the GeForce experience and make sure that your drivers are updated all the way. So you can do that by going and searching for GeForce experience. And once you're here, there will be two options. You can be on home or drivers. Go ahead and click on drivers and then see if you have the GeForce newest option. If you don't, then there should be a download button right here. If you do, then it'll just say you have the latest version. So you can go ahead and download that and make sure that you have the newest drivers downloaded. That's how you can get shaders on Roblox. So that's all for today's video. If you find this helpful, consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Thanks.